Now we have a problem with our Lexus hood. It will not latch. So if I go like this to close the hood, you can see it won't, uh, it won't close and it just won't latch all the way. So we're gonna take the latch out and see if we can fix it. And if not, we're gonna replace it with a new one. So first things first, in order to get to this latch, what we have to do is just take off all this plastic. Uh, I've already cleaned the engine. Uh, so we're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver just to take out these. Now the factory clips were a different type, but they were all shot, so I replaced mine. But anyway, if you have the factory clips, you'll have to take them all off just so we can get out this plastic. And then we're gonna get to this uh, latch here and see what's cooking. Okay, so here you can see I have my tools here. So I have my little trim tool here, guys. And then I also have a Phillips screwdriver. Now the thing with this Phillips screwdriver is like I said, you're not going to need it. Uh, the trim tool you're probably going to need. Uh, that's the most important thing. And like I said, don't buy those clips that I bought. They were absolutely crappy. Get the ones in length, they're much better and they resemble the Lexus ones. So, so they're a lot better. So anyway, enough of that. Here you can see, here's a shot of what the hood latch looks like. And I actually put a screwdriver in here and you can see it's just not clamping. So I think the easiest way to tackle this is just we're gonna undo the clip here, uh, the 10 mil bolt here. We're gonna be careful taking this off and then all we do is we have two 10 mil bolts uh, right there and right there, we can take those off and then this whole centerpiece can lift, we can get underneath it and then we can see what's going on. Now what I wanna do first is I wanna see how to get these out without breaking them. So I have a pair of these. They're very uh, fine. They're like flat tipped here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can put them inside here and then squeeze. And we're gonna see if we can get the clips out that way, just so they're not broken. That was way easier than I thought just by using these and just squeezing right in there. This last one here is a little bit tough because there's some sand, but it should, there we go. So now that we've loosened this, just like this, we know we're not gonna break our wire. And then we can undo this bolt, that clip. Let's take it off. Now, once the bolt and the clip are taken off, you can see there's really nothing else. You can actually just lift it. It's really loose and you can just pull it free from the air filter box. So once that's removed, now what we're gonna do is just undo the four bolts, the two on each side, and they are 10 mil. So just undo those. I know you don't wanna watch me undoing those the whole time. So I just, uh, I took them out there. You can see they're, they're actually just taken out there and they're a little bit rusty. I was, I was afraid they were actually gonna break, but you know what, they didn't break, which was really good. Now I found there is some bolts, or I guess bolt holding it down here. Now, this one's really interesting because I didn't know what the heck it even was, guys. And then I used my pick and I just pulled it out and it is, it looks like a nut, okay? So it looks like a nut, but it's actually, it's a weird looking nut. I'm, I'm gonna show you this in a minute because it just, it looks really weird. Take a look at this. There you go, you can see it's it's like a nut with a weird washer built into it. So anyway, you can see now it is off, so that's great. And the whole centerpiece is loose. So take your time wiggling it out, like don't be too rough on it or you might uh, pull a wire or something like that or <laughs> you might even pull your back out. Anyway, you can see here I flipped it over, just be careful. And now let's take a look at the underside. And now we can see here is the underside. So here's our horns, we didn't have to disconnect them. And now we can get into the box, see what's up and there's our cable uh, for the release. So now let's open this up and see what's inside. And you can see the style of bolts that come out. There's two on the front. Take a look at this, take a close look. These style of bolts, you know, go into plastic. Manufacturers use this style of bolt to go into plastic. There's two on the front and there's one on the top. Let's take this top one off. There you go, like that. And you can see I just squeeze them, squeeze the clip, and it goes. I think it's coming off. Yeah. And there's just one little clip right in here. It's holding onto the wire, so we're gonna pull that back. Just like so, and now we can get the plastic out. There we go. So it does have an alarm for the hood, so this will be it, this will be the electrical connection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this connector, and then we're gonna unscrew the bolts from the front and take it out. So use these as a screwdriver because I'm too lazy to change. There we go. So there's our electrical connector, it is out. So now all we gotta do is undo the two bolts. Holding it on. And that would be these two right here. Oh, and they're fairly tight. I just got a little quarter drive here, guys. I don't have a big 
There we go. Let's flip this back over. Now, this should just be loose. Should come loose. There it is. So we're gonna have to take this apart. There's our rod and everything is uh, is pretty uh, pretty corroded. It's probably best to get a new one by the looks of it. And as I'm looking inside, I see right there, there's a spring that is either broken or disconnected. You can see it's not even attached to anything. So here's that spring I was talking about. You can see how, there you go, right here. This is a spring, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it just connects to one of these holes. What I might do is I'm just gonna pull it tight and then I'm gonna use a screwdriver, push on there and see if I can get it to lock. All right, so I use these needle nose here and what I was trying to do is put the spring back in uh, that hole right there. I think that's where it clips, but the problem was the end of it as it was actually so rusted, it just broke right off. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to get a new unit because I don't know if I can find a new spring uh, that is this size. Clean it back and forth, so we just gotta get it from underneath here I just gotta there we go and I think I maybe took it out there we go just like that and then we can pop this out of here and then we'll take our hood latch right out of the car and there it's out so there's our old uh, hood latch it's still okay I'm gonna put some anti-seize on here just to try to protect it but you can see the steel still okay but it is rusting and it's probably gonna be getting weak so we're gonna want to make sure we fix that Yeah, that's the price it cost me for a new latch. It was like 150 bucks. I just had no choice. So anyway, that's what it cost me. So now what I'm doing is I'm just putting some good uh, spray in here. And what that's doing is that's going to protect it because uh, I don't want it to rust out again because it actually kind of rusted out pretty quick. I don't think I should have had to replace it, but whatever. Anyway, let's keep going. So now it's time to play fish with the cable. So we got to fish it back into where it's supposed to go. And you can actually do it. Uh, you can see here, I actually did it with a screwdriver. I didn't even need pliers. So it was fine just uh, using something to hold that, hold that thing, whatever, whatever that thing is called that holds the cable. Anyway, snap it back into place, put a little bit of anti-seize on, and there you go. You can see now it is back uh, where it's supposed to be. Let's not forget about our electrical connector. We're gonna snap that together. We're gonna flip it back over, put our bolts in, and hold your horses now. I wanna explain this for a second, guys. So you can see these two bolts, don't mix them up. Look at the flange on them. Those go in the front to center it. So don't confuse those bolts with any other bolts because it's really, really important you use those bolts to center it or else your hood latch will not be centered and your hood may not close properly and you're just gonna have problems. So next up, once we're done this, let's find our plastic, or not plastic, but our bolts that go into the plastic. We're gonna put our plastic piece back in. You can just maneuver it back in the way you took it out. Just uh, installation like they say is reverse removal. You can see there I'm lining it up. And once you have the plastic installed, that plastic cover installed, put a little bit of anti-seize there. Uh, I put some on top and also on the bolts. Now keep note, these bolts have a flat flange. They're not like the, the ones that, uh, that held the latch. So these ones are a little bit different. They're flat flange. So like I said earlier, don't confuse them. Uh, and then you're just gonna put your bolts back in. Uh, what I did or, or what I do basically on all my jobs is I never tighten them right down. What I do is I just snug them up a little bit but I always leave some play in there. And what that allows me to do is just center everything. And then once I feel everything is centered, then I'll go around and tighten everything up. So there you can see there's a, there's the front bolt, uh, the, that weird nuts there. I'm just wiping off uh, the excess anti-seize because you don't want it to go all over the place. And once you're done with all the steel bolts, it's time for the factory cold air intake on the Lexus. I like to call it that because it does look kind of cool. You got to admit, I don't see a lot of cars with something like this. So this is really neat. And lots of anti-seize again, because you can see how rusty our bolts were before. And the worst thing that can happen is when you go to take something out, it snaps because then you're drilling and you're tapping. It's just, it's, it's horrible situation. So I put anti-seize on everything that I put back together that's uh, steel. Don't forget about that special cap there. So it looks like it's kind of like a hidden thing there. And then what we do is we just put our plastic back on top. Uh, you can see here, make sure everything is lined up perfectly. And now let's do a test. You can see, there you go, hood uh, opens and it closes. So it is perfect. So anyway, that is it guys. Hopefully you really enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next week. Thanks.